Welcome back to Learn Wire. I'm going to be looking at a comment from Damien, and he says that basically, could I spend more time providing my feedback on the quality of the content of these AI writers? Recently purchased Marmoth and so forth. So I've, I'm putting something something together that I think you guys are going to be very interested in. This is probably some of the different videos and content and research that you guys want to see from LearnWire. So I just spent the last two hours putting together at least the initial results. And I do realize that there are far more AI writers that I need to test, but I'm going to start adding this to my workflow when I test out new AI writers. I'm not going to be grading or judging the content based on AI detection anymore because the AI detection tools flat out just don't work. And really at the end of the day, even if it did find AI detected, and even if it was accurate, it doesn't matter as of right now in April, April going into May of 2023, Google does not care if you use AI content. So it doesn't matter anyways. I think that you can make the argument that AI detector tools were helping agencies, you know, sell content to their clients to show, to try to show that the content is human produced. So I, I do understand that there could be a need for that. That is what becomes difficult is trying to show if you're selling human generated content to clients and customers to prove to them that it's not AI generated. And that is kind of the world we're living in right now, where it's almost getting to the point where it's like, who even writes content from scratch from start to finish anymore without using some type of AI tool. So, but in an effort to answer this question and provide this, this to you guys, I have put together something and we're going to go and look at it in just a second. I have the full study right here. I'm just going to show it for just a second and I'll explain it to you in just a minute. But I went over to the site. I actually found a website right over here that's getting over a million visitors. So it's probably pretty legit. And it's basically what are the best like content quality checkers out there. And there's one of them that came up and it's, let's see right over here, best tools to use, which is readable. So this is readable.com. So I went over and went and checked this out right over here. They are getting almost a couple hundred thousand visitors a month. So pretty legitimate as well. And it looks like they do have customers, some big customers using their tool and so forth. So this is basically like a Grammarly, possibly a Grammarly on steroids when it comes to grading your content. It'll tell you how they grade the content they have. The, I don't, I can't pronounce these, so apologize if I, but you can just pause the screen. I'm not even going to try, but it has all the, the Kincaid score, which is the basically the flesh Kincaid score is going to be one of the go-to reading scores that the higher the score on a scale from one to 100, the more readable the content is. So the higher the score, the better, but there's all kinds of other tests out there as, and so forth. So this one is going to do all kinds of stuff. We can go up here and it, it can actually do spelling and grammar and so forth. So this one is a paid tool. I just signed up for the free trial, but after seven days, it's going to charge me $50 per year. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that. It doesn't look like they have an affiliate program. That's fine. I'm signing up to this tool just to bring more value to you guys. And so we can get these scores and grade and judge content right out of AI software. So that's kind of where I'm going to go next. So we come over here and what I've been doing is I've been going over to this list over here and then we're also going to be checking it with Grammarly Pro. So I have two of the best paid for pro tools to check for grammar, check for clarity, check for um, the deliverability, check for the read readability scores, how long the sentence structure is, all that stuff. And that's going to give it a score. I also, I think that this other tool over here the readable.com seems to be a little bit stricter, a little bit harsher on its grading. And you're going to see all these different scores right over here. What I'm looking at the most is this one that I'm, a, I'm, I'm familiar with. Like this one right here is 65. It's not too bad, uh, but you want it to be a hundred and then it's going to grade it. So you can actually put mark favorites, but then you can go over and look at the grade, all the different grades it's giving it and an audience reach score. Won't talk much about that, the amount of words and the amount of issues found. So let's get into the AI writers that I have tested. And so you can see on the screen right here, we have a list of AI writers. Some of my favorite ones and some of the ones I use the most are on here and the ones that are kind of, kind of still get the most buzz, I'd say, except for I've had a lot of requests from you guys 
to test out Agility Rider. So you want to make sure you're subscribed to OrnWire and looking at my latest videos. A couple things um, I want to put together some type of giveaway. And so I'll put out a poll and I'll put out some of the AI writing tools that are on the pro on AppSumo right now. And I can actually buy a license key and we can do a giveaway in the month of May. <clears throat> the month of May, OrnWire uh, channel. I have goals. Uh, I'm going to try to put out two videos a day, Monday through Friday. So that's going to be an additional um, 40 videos that are going to be available to you. Um, mostly uh, software reviews, but I'll do update videos. I'll do research things like what are you seeing right here on this video? Just all software related type stuff, SEO and so forth. And so stay tuned for that. It's going to be kind of like a, a May blitz. I really want to just, I want to grow the YouTube channel as well to 10,000 subscribers. We're at 7,500 subscribers. I appreciate every one of you. So I'm thinking I'm increasing my view count. I mean, in, increasing my video creation count. And that's also because when we go over to AppSumo, uh, you'll see that they just come out with, uh, there's just so many tools that just keep coming out and go over to software, then go over to latest. And there's just so many that I can't even keep up with. And I want to review any that makes sense. Uh, I want to review them out for you. So it's gotten to the point where there's, you know, one video a day won't cut it. I won't be able to get to all these. So I do need to do more videos for you guys. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing that. I also want to increase the subscriber count. And so that's why I want to give do a giveaway. So what I'll do is I'll come over and I'll grab one of these, like maybe auto writer, Marmoff and so forth and grab a key. I mean, a, a code for you guys, and I won't even actually sign up for it. And I'll actually give the code away to people that are watching the video, subscribing, liking, and commenting on each video. You'll have chances to win. So that's coming up in May. Just wanted a little bit of housekeeping for you guys. But when we come back over here to check this out, what are we looking at on the screen? So I actually did test out ChatGPT and GPT-4, and they did score the highest. I'll explain to you what I did. So I did the readability right here, which is this software right here. What? Right. And so I'll, I paste in the content and you're looking right here. This is almost 2000 words right here. This is mind you, the chat GPT, even though it is scoring the highest, I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware that in both these tools, the content was, was less, quite a bit less than in all the other tools. So the advantage of the other tools, except for copy AI, the, the some of yeah, I guess one of the articles was about a thousand words. I believe that these articles here were about a thousand words. I really challenged it. I had to say write longer. You know, those are the things that make using just raw chat GPT and GPT-4 kind of a pain in the butt, even though they do score the highest you'll see in, in my testing. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best workflow or work process flow, being that there nothing scored in the 90s and is it's not significantly better than say copy AI or Zim writer, which is going to produce content faster for you. And so you take a small trade off on quality, I think to use the other tools, but you'll be able to do so much more and so much faster than, um, and you'll get longer form content with these writers down here than you will with chat GPT. So I don't know if you guys are surprised, go ahead and comment below. Did you, are you surprised that these ended up and I actually took a sum. So we did three tests three different articles. So what you're looking at is every single one of these tests right here, that's an article. And then this is an article, right? So those are the two, those are the same article. Number two is the same article. Like I took the same article, I wrote it in, you know, let's say chat GPT, I wrote the same article. And then I, I went into readability and pasted it in here. And I just took the raw score and then I pasted it into Grammarly right here. And I got the raw score. I didn't do any corrections. I didn't do any of the suggestions or anything. I just want to see right out of the gate, which AI writers with these tools are getting the highest scores. And so that is the measurement. I didn't read through this. I didn't look at facts. This isn't a fact checking study or anything like that. This is just sheer the quality of the content coming out of the AI writers. So, and then on this one, it's important to note that I took the exact title or topic, how to wash your car at home right here. And I wrote it fresh in every single one of these tools today. And that's why this took like two hours this morning to do this. I wrote that in every single one of these, and that is what you're getting with this column G and column G those are based off of the same article topic and a fresh article in all of those. So you're getting a really good comparison on those two right there. 
and you'll see that I highlighted this one right here from ChatGPT. This article right here is the same article as this one, right? And in the readability, it got a 70 and then it got a 98 in Grammarly. So that even tells you, even, you know, when we're looking at all these, even the grading softwares can't get their stuff right. They have different algorithms. Grammarly is saying that this is the best content that was written today. And readability dot com is saying that it's one of the worst that was created also you'll see that i only have 80 70 and 90 right here so basically when we come over here to readability if it's if it showed a b right here then they i'm just giving it an, a score of 80. if it shows a c i give it a 70 and if it shows a a i give it a 90. so we're not doing any you know fine tuning on that we're just kind of giving it a, assigning it a number and so you'll see we only have 70 80 and 90. nothing scored less than a c um from these ai writers and so i don't know what we can make of this so i'm gonna actually zoom in a little bit more so you guys can really look at it okay so what do we make of this information i will be i will be doing more reviews so you can see right here i already have access to these softwares right here katev marmoff and wordcraft so those i'll try to do those tests and add those to this list next week and i can do like an update video or something like that also i need to do reviews on koala and agility writer as well and of course you guys keep these suggestions coming i keep trying to do the reviews as quick as i can but this is a start we did seven this morning and the most popular ones you've got jasper copy ai we've got hypot news on here oh i didn't do scale nut so i need to add scale nut to here to the list as well and then we would have a pretty complete list of the at least the ai writers that i use and that are some of my favorites um the wordcraft and some of those adding in those to uh, like the the AppSumo deals, that's really just because those are relevant right now. It doesn't mean that I'm actually using those in my workflow, but I know a lot of you like Kateb, so you guys will probably like that test as well. But some of the ones I probably won't do some of the AI writers that I just literally don't like and that I get a bad feeling about during my review. I probably won't even waste the time to do it, but any of the ones that I liked, like Wordcraft and Mar Marmoth, I'll add to this list as well. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys want to see in, the, in this study or anything I need to add, then just comment below. Really what you guys are looking at is that this is a surface level quality content checking study using two pro paid tools, readable.com readable and Grammarly Pro. And we're basically pasting, we're creating content in each one of these, right? and we are pasting it directly into those two softwares and then we're basically getting a score and then i'm summing it up and it doesn't matter if we take an average or a sum they're going to i just wanted to show you that i also took an average right here of that would be the average of this line right here b2 to g2 or you can just take a sum and you're still going to come out with the same so we really don't need the average column but i just wanted to show you that that we do have it on there so we can just take the sum and that is going to basically be the end all be all we still had surprisingly copy ai performed pretty well well not surprisingly but copy ai did perform well zim writer just got the edge over hypotenuse and copify but I think that looking at this surprisingly Jasper I thought it would score higher it did come in last but when we look at this what I see is that when you look at all these scores right here uh, they're really not bad I mean the content coming out of all these AI softwares in a in a in a sense you could say that it's marginal the difference in quality is marginal I think we would have to take this a step further. We'd have to actually human grade each one of these and check for facts and really challenge it to see which one is the best at writing accurate, factual information. And that is, if you guys want to do that test, that's fine. That will take a lot of time. And I don't actually don't think that I'm quite qualified to judge a text from that standpoint. But so this is surface level, just using two paid you know, grammar and quality, readability testing software. Okay. So I think that in a sense, it's marginal, just looking at all of them. And what this really is starting to paint for us is that really, I think that this shows that your, and in a sense, this is kind of what I already thought is that your workflow of 
you know, another layer that we could actually add on to here is something, you know, start pasting these into Neuron Writer and Phrase. Maybe I would add another score over here and see which one from an SEO standpoint is which ones score the highest. Because what we're looking at right here and just straight readability, and this is what, this is the quality of the content coming out, just the read, readability and the grammar scores. They're all pretty close, right? And so I think that that's really what I would say in my summary conclusion is that it kind of doesn't matter what you're using. It's, it's going to be based on preference and workflow. It's going to be based on speed. If you want to write a hundred articles quickly and get them up and get a site created in a week, then I'm going to tell you to probably go and use Zim writer to do that because you're, it's going to be the absolute best bulk writer. And then also it's going to do it for an affordable rate because you're, you're APIing into open AIs and you just have to have, you know, an open AI account and a paid account and a key, but you're only going to pay for the content that you're creating and it's pennies on the dollar. So, but if you want to focus on just straight, like really fine tuning and quality and so forth, you might go with the Copify or you might want to just do it a little bit more on the manual side. It's going to take you a lot longer to create the content with the manual prompting and so forth. But you can see right here that you're getting some really good, re, a very high readability scores with chat GPT and so forth, right? If you want just speed, you know, click a button and it's going to create content, long form content very quickly for you. Copy AI and hypotenuse will get the job done for you. Uh, Copify is very similar to Zim Writer. I'm waiting to do a comparison video between Zim Writer and Copify, but I'm waiting and being patient for Zim Writer to come out with their version seven. I want to be fair because Zim Writer has some massive updates coming out and I think that it will be a better, and then Copify also doesn't have a bulk. So they kind of both would balance each other out and they both would win in a couple main major categories. So that's it for this. What do you guys think of this? I hope to get a conversation started below. What do you guys think about this? I'll leave some comments. Are you surprised by any of these results? I did try to be fair and completely fair and unbiased. I actually didn't really want ChatGPT to score high and be at the top. Of course, I want one of these softwares down here to pop out and be better. Um, ChatGPT and a 4.0 did do better. It still doesn't mean that these are my favorites because like I said, they were actually kind of a pain in the butt to, to get the a thousand words out of. And that's my problem going over here to ChatGPT and actually having to to tell it to write more like it'll write a, a full thing and then you have to tell it to write the article again write it more in depth write it longer i need longer form content you can see right here there's the chat gpt right there and i did how to wash a car just to show you that this is completely legit and then that is where i came up with the this score right here 95 and 90. Okay. But even coming in here, I even used some, I used some from scratch. I also went in here and used long article and I would click on that. And then none of them would, I try, I tried it like five different times and you would get only about 500 words. And so that is my argument against really that chat GBT is the best way to do it. It's, it's going to, most of us need a thousand or 2000 word articles. Chat GBT right now, if you asked me is not the way to go if for, you know, for scaling up a niche or websites, it's going to be another tool. So I really, really falling on the liking of Zim writer and Cobify. Again, I want to test a lot of these other ones as well, but I like, I mean, Zim writer with the bulk writer, I want to come out with a, like a start a brand new site and, you know, try to throw up, you know, a hundred or 200 articles and build the site in front of you and do that whole thing. You guys can comment below if you guys would be interested in seeing that live as well. So that's it for this kind of rambled on a little bit, but this is my little study right here and I will see you in the next video.